Hey, morning. It's Heather from Willy Willy Sheep Sheep, and I'm so glad you've joined me. So if you're new here, welcome. And if you're coming back, hello. <laughs> so, uh, what have I been up to? Ah, oh, goodness, these past two weeks seems to have went so quick. It's I don't know, even all, it's all going so quick at the minute. But, um, no, I've been working away on my stitching. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I had a birthday start. Um, I've also finished the dress off. So again, it's on my Instagram. So uh, there's photographs of it up. But other than that, I've just been working away on sort of four, well, Three and then the new start as well. But uh, no, it's been it's been really nice here. So it, we're it's on it's Sunday at the minute, the twentieth of June. Um, it has been lovely all week. We haven't had any rain at all. Um, and it has been warm. You wouldn't think by what I'm wearing, but I was just sort of out of the house and I wanted something a bit better than an old t-shirt. So I stuck this on, and now I wish I hadn't, but. Uh, no, it's lovely. It's dull today and I think it gives rain for later on, but as you see over here, the ground needs it. So we'll see. Uh, maybe hopefully it won't come to, to bedtime. But uh, other than that, as I say, I've just been stitching and working. So it hasn't been really anything exciting. Oh, actually there was. Yesterday I ended up, I went to a meet-up. It was um, a girl set up a group, sort of like a subgroup of uh, a sewing group that I'm in on Facebook and she set one up for sort of the local area. So we'd done a wee bit of a meet up there. Um, I know it was fun. It really, it was, it was nice to see them and to meet up and just have a wee talk about sewing and what we were getting up to. and things so and it was nice just to meet different people <laughs> and to get out of the house and to get out of the house but uh no so I'm looking forward to it and a few more meetups and whatnot so it'll be good but uh no that's that sort of a life update so there's not really that much um so into my whips so I'm going to show you the three that I have just been working on so you, you know they're ones that you've seen before but I'll save the birthday start till, till the, the last one so sorry zips so this is my Galliana the Christmas house one so I've got a good bit more done of it hopefully you can see that oh, be a bit lower now that's coming up quite red. It's not just as red as that in real life. Um, it's slightly darker red. Let's see again. Oh, I can't see. There. So I've got a good wee bit done. I'm almost, I've almost one page of the chart done. How many pages is on it? Nine. I think there's nine pages. I could be wrong. But that's that's almost one of them. I have a wee thing to do here and I think there's a start of something down here. And then that's that's that sort of all done. But I'm really enjoying that. As I've said before, using the selfie thread is it's amazing, it really is. Um now I did say about the new start I had about using the selfie thread, but I'll explain that when I get up to it. But um no, I just use the one the one strand of sulky thread and that's on a 32 count. And I I like the coverage, I don't mind it. Maybe some people might think it's not a lot of you know, it's there could be better coverage, but I did try to um I did try two strands of it because this is the 12 weight one. It was just too thick. It was too thick. I think you might get away with it if it was on 38 count. You might, depending. It's up to your own preference of how how much coverage you like on it. But I'm 
I'm over the moon with the, the one, one over the 32. So I'll say happy enough. So I'm just going to continue and keep it that. So I worked, I worked on that in quite a bit. I actually work on it more probably at work on my breaks. Um, yeah, I have been, I don't, if I've worked on it, it's only been like one night at home. So that's really, as I say, down to working on it, on it my breaks. Um, next one is my Blackbird one, the Hallow's Eve. Hallow's Eve, Halloween Eve, Halloween Eve. Sorry, I'll let you see. So that's, for those ones who don't know, that's that one there. So, I, I've said it, I really think every video I say it, but I do absolutely love this one. Now, I really only started working again on this one this week. I could done a wee bit on it, but more back at it this past couple of nights. So I did say I would have all the alphabet done. That maybe just didn't work out the way I wanted it to, but I'm very nearly there. I'm only four letters away from getting it all done. So I'm not too bad. Could be a lot worse. So that's it there. Just make sure you can see it all. Hopefully you're seeing that all. So I'm getting there slowly but surely with that one. Um, as I say, I love that. It's on 32 count as well, using all the call for colors in the DMC. Um, when I look at the charts, um, or when I look at the thread, chart and stuff on I did sort of muck up some of them and I've used if I had to realise some of the colours are used on other parts of it and used an alternative colour I'd maybe be better but I'm gonna sort that out as I come to it. Um I think is it it's the browns and maybe the orange I think I've maybe mucked up a wee bit in but I can get that sorted whenever whenever I come to it. I have had a few mistakes in this one. Um like that M. I had it all finished. I mean, I was putting in the very last stitch on it and I was like, oh, that's wrong. I'm one stitch too far over. It should come down one stitch over. I said, I'm not starting that. Not on a month of Sundays. Because there was actually, the week before, it seemed to be that everything I lifted, I worked away on it for ages and it wasn't I was coming to near the end of doing whatever I was doing that night and the next thing I realised I'd made a mistake. I've done it with the next one I'm going to show you and I just at that point I just was like nope I'm this is going to be the way it's going to be. I'm it's mine and it's unique unique to me. So uh, no I just I just kept it on and it doesn't it, I think whenever I worked it out, it actually it's it's fine. It's not gonna cause any problems. That's why I sort of thought, well, just leave that. Um, but as I say, I love that one. And um, when I get that done and the border around it connected up, um, that's half of it already done. So it it is it does it works up really really quickly. Do love that one. Now the next one was supposed to be my strand of night, which it was for the first. It's really only as past, not even last week. The week be before that, um, the week after my last video, I sort of got away from it. I didn't keep working on it. Again, as I say, I did do a mistake on it, and it was a big mistake. And uh, that was why I sort of went and uh, it's set to the one side. But over this past couple of nights, I've been sitting on doing doing a good bit and I've got a bit more done. So this is it. So it's the uh, Fruits of Plenty. Oh, that's, oh, that's fell down. Sorry, it's just, I was working on this actually this morning there, so. So I made a mistake 
doing this. Now I hadn't the centre part done so the flowery bit wasn't done but I had went all the way, no sorry, what way did I go? I started here and I went all the way around the outside and it wasn't I went to join it up at the bottom here and I realised I was out of stitch. And it turned out when I looked at it and looked at the chart I had made the mistake right the way down at the very bottom. So I had to rip the whole thing back out again and that's where I didn't even rub it out I just says no mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. and I start that'll wait for another day so as I say I picked it up again over the last couple of days unpicked that all and uh, started in so I finished I finished that off last night up to there and I think out to here out maybe to the sweet leaf and uh, sorry for you can't see my mouth um, and then I got this wee bit done this morning and I'm starting to do there's then the rest on it so I'll start to do it but I do love this one but I do find I make stupid mistakes on it so, which is totally on me um, but I've more done I think I've more done on it than I would have done if I just had a you know I'll work on it whenever but um, that's that one. Oh, jiggled here. Um, I say just with working on the three of them, I don't. I feel like I'm not showing you an awful lot, but um, I have. I've sort of been working steady on on them all. Uh, but I have my birthday start. Which again, if you follow me, you'll see that on Instagram. Um, this one I have longed for for a, a long time. <laughs> and I just says, right, this is it. It's, it's going to be my birthday start no matter what. So I got this from Hands Across the Sea. So there we are. And it is the Amy Can 1831. So, I just, I love it. It is beautiful. It is so beautiful. I think when I first seen it, the colours, it was completely the colours that drew me in. And there are specialty stitches in it. Um, I've, I've looked at them now that I've got the booklet. I looked whenever on their the Hands Across the Sea website. And they're not, I don't think they're the worst famous last words I don't think that they are you know there's and the, I they are explained so well I've looked at the booklet they're explained so well Nicola has done such a brilliant job on that it's it's unreal um I really couldn't recommend their books enough just from this one even and I know that they have changed the smaller ones to uh ring ring ones which I think is a brilliant idea. Um, I think Nicola was asking about the bigger ones. What did people's suggestions on them? Um, to put them into like a ring binder thing as well. And I know this one here now. I think this one's from 2000. Yep, 2018. I think now in their more recent booklets. Uh, they have like a large print of the sampler in the middle. But in this one they don't. So I can get what she was saying in her last video that to do the ring binding on the bigger books you're going to lose that full picture in the middle but to be honest I don't mind you know having this and not having the full picture in the middle that's fine um, I don't mind if the picture in the front I'm happy enough so I wouldn't actually mind it being ring bound because I don't, when I, I sort of am sitting with my stitching and I have my book at my side on the arm of the chair and I don't want to ruin this. I really don't want to ruin this. So I'm finding I'm just keeping it open fully but it takes up more room and I end up knocking it and knocking things over and stuff. So to be honest, I think I would like it ring, ring bound but... Everybody might not be of the same same thought as that. 
but as I say, this was birthday start and I also bought with my birthday money all the bits and bobs to go with it. So that is like a rat's nest. I showed you, I think I showed you the fabric um, in my last video. I got it from XG Designs. It was brilliant, come so quick. But uh, this is so much like a rat's nest. This is the colours. So you have the lovely blues and there's greens, browns and then the lighter taupey yellows and stuff. They are beautiful and the pink, pink is, get that down, pink is lovely. Those actually they're, they're pretty, they're coming across pretty true to colour there so they are. So love it. Now I do find this is on 36 count so I have never worked 36 count and I do find it quite um, really concentrating so I don't maybe have as much done as what I would hope but um, I'm trying to do it as best I can so I'm not having to rip out or anything but I have got that far. It's not really coming up the right colour there of the, the fabric but uh, it's not too bad. There is a slight, I would say there is a, it's like a taupey colour, but it's like a slight rustic pinky colour. I, I don't know, there is like a, to me there is like a, I don't know if I'm just looking to see it or not, but it was, um, oh, I can't remember the, the colour. It was rustic something I can't remember the colour but I'll link all below so I will um but no that's as that's as far as I've got with it but as I say I'm just taking my time I'm counting every stitch I'm doing it it's that's what I was going to say to you these are the DMC I had said before I was going to do them in the sulky but when I went to uh do the conversion for the sulky not all the conversion didn't convert all the DMC over, like all the colours weren't and to be honest I just I didn't really have the time or the inclination to turn and go around and try and match them up so in the end I just went for the DMC I would have loved to have done it in the sulky but what do you do? But I'm, I'm more than happy working on the DMC here, so I will happily work away on it. And as I say, I'm just taking my time, counting everything. Sorry, it's just a bit of a bit of thread come out. Um, I'm just working away and fittering at it, just taking my time. So that's one that's probably going to be on for the long haul, but as I say, I'm happy enough to do that. Um, I do find I go for the bigger pieces. I don't, I don't have any, there's one small piece I have here that I'm going to show you. I don't have it. It's not finished yet. It, it's this cross. It's something I've been working on. You have seen it before, but I've decided to go a different route with it. But, um, no, all I sort of do like the bigger, more involved ones. But then there's times when I'm working on them like oh, I just wish I could get ones that were were finished, or you know would finish a lot quicker. Maybe just stitch some quicker. That would maybe help. But uh, sorry, just put this all away. So that's sort of everything I have been working on. Um. And I'm happy enough. I was able to get a good bit done there the past couple of weeks. So let's hope that continues. I'll show you this one here to say it was one I was going to do something different with it. And when I said I was like, oh, just I can't wait to do the rest of it. So I ended up cutting it out. So it's this wee one here. So you've seen that before. I was going to do three of them, you know, three in a row. But I went, no, I can't, 
I don't have the inclination to do sit and do this at the minute with the other. So I thought I'll do them separate when I want to do them and I'll finish this one off or try and get it finished. Um, so I started this last weekend, just those bits of ribbon and uh, trim and stuff that I had. So I ended up picking this between me and my daughter. We, we got this sort of picked out. I had rick rack as well, but it didn't, it just didn't look right. So I'm going to stitch, it's going to, I'm going to make it into like a wee pillow, pillow cushion. And I'll stitch this on, on the shape and then get it back in and stuff. I haven't really got the fabric for it yet. Um, just covered in cat hair. Uh, I don't have anything picked out and I don't think I have anything Halloween-y. I have any God's amount of Christmas stuff there, but as for Halloween, no. I'd, and I love Halloween stuff, that's the thing. I would be more, actually the Christmas fabrics all my mum's, um, ones that was left to me when I got her stuff. And there is so much Christmas stuff on it, it's unreal. But um, I don't really have a say any Chris, or Halloween fabric. So I've been looking on eBay and there's a few wee cute ones. So I'll see, like I don't need that much you know it's not going to um i'm not going to need too much of it but uh i would like to get i still would like to get it done and i have been keeping my scraps for stuffing so all my fabric scraps i've just kept a wee bag of them and i'm going to use them to to stuff it with uh because it's just going to end up in the bin otherwise so might as well use them see how you get on um or what you know sort of what the finish of it looks like is it sturdy enough you know is it it's just to see that it's not falling over and you know that sort of thing whenever i have it sitting up but uh i say i'm not really in any hurry to get this done but i've pinned it there the reason i sort of hadn't that stitched on i've been using a jersey needle in my sewing machine to do the dress that i had finished and I just can't be bothered. I was, this was between, no, I had finished it and then I was going to make something else with Jersey. I fell out with it and then I just haven't changed over the needle yet. So uh, whenever I do that, but I'm going to, that's going to start shortly because I'm, I have the, another dress that I've sat cut out here waiting to be stitched up. But uh, no, that's, that's everything I have been working on so hopefully shortly I should get that that finished but um as I say I'm in no no hurry and I'll I'll work on it whenever I get and whenever I get that needle and stuff sorted out. Um so the only thing really left is haul. Now I have I class that hands across the sea as part of the haul as well. Um, and then I also went on Minerva. Now I have, no, sorry, I'll do, I'll do my stitching haul first. I did get fabric and I have it away and I completely forgot about it. So I'm not hundred percent sure where it's at, but I got it off, um, one of the Facebook groups, like a D stash grip. And, um, it was blush, that's why I got blush. And I think it was 32 count. You think I'd know these things, but I think it was 32 count. Um, it's actually, whenever it came, it actually was quite pink to what I thought it was going to be. But it's still, it's lovely. So I'll use that for something. It just was really to add to moustache more than anything. Um, straightforward wee things that I got and I'll tag the shop that I got it. And I think it was eBay I got these off. Um, I got... 20 DMC 28 size 28 needles. I got this for the hands across the sea for I'm using 26 size them and I do find it slightly big. Um, it's not too bad but it's just slightly 
bigger than what I would hope for. So um, I got these, I'll try these and hopefully they, they'll be fine. And then I want to start another one. So I got myself these. Sweet DMC. And it's got the ring and the bobbins. It's um many something. Oh, 28 bobbins. Is it? Maybe it is. I didn't think there was that many. I was actually gonna say 15. But um so there's that. And this is I wanted to get it for another one. Um I'm not gonna start the Barbara Anna um Santa trips. So I need to get the linen and the threads for it. So I have been looking at Lakeside Needleworks. Um, I cannot get, I, I would say everybody's in the same situation. Um, I feel that linen is just so hard to get at the minute. Or well, maybe what I'm looking is so hard to get at the minute. I don't know if it's that or just in general. But um, I've seen, I think it was just Antique White on Lakeside and they had antique white and they had I think like the platinum I know that and they had maybe just normal white um so I thought to myself I maybe get it and actually tea dye it or coffee dye it give that a wee bit of a go so um I'll see see how I get on because it's it's dark on her original or on the photograph it looks quite darkish the fabric but it's nearly like it's not like a dirty dark it's nearly a grey dark so that's I'm sort of like I wonder would tea dye be the best thing um it might bring it out a different colour than what I would be hoping for but look trial and error we'll find out so well and um if I do do that I'll let let you see it and let you know how I got on but that is the next that's the next thing that I'm Hoping to start and hoping to get all the bits and bobs for. So that's, I say that's all. Sorry, I have something in my eye or I feel like I have something in my eye. Um, that's sort of all the cross stitch -y stuff. Um, yes, that's, that's that. So as part of my birthday present, I got some money. So I went on and as I was saying before, um, I just I happened to notice on Instagram Minerva.com were doing um, a half price sale on their simplicity patterns. Now this is something I very rarely see over here is a sale on patterns. Um, all our American friends seem to have whenever you go to Joanne's or Hobby Lobby is it and you can get um, sales of patterns being a dollar. You just, well, I don't see it over here at all. So to see a half price sale, I was like, that's that's what I'm looking. So I I love Mimi G. I love uh, the stuff she makes is unreal. Um, so I decided I'd get some of her patterns or the ones that I've been after for a wee while. So there's something here. So I got four in total. So any simplicity, there was the Madeline ones as well for the underwear. There was, I seen one of hers was on it. Um, all of Mimi G's and then everything from costume ones to children's, men's, women's, everything was half price. And I'm not affiliated to them in any way or form at the minute. So, but Minerva, if you want to <laughs> be free. Um, but uh, no then, so I got, uh, as I say, four different patterns. Now I would like to think I'd have, this is maybe wishful thinking, with me going away in two weeks, weekends time, I would like to have a couple of bits made. As I say, that could be wishful thinking. Um, but anyway, I'll show you these here. So I got, this is one of her newest releases. So it's Simplicity 9224 and it's a nice little like wrap dress. So we have that one. This one is Simplicity 8558 and I got it for this view. 
I don't really do shorts, so not unless I'm on holidays and I'm somewhere nobody knows me. So I, I would love those. Um, I love this. I love this. Uh, this is 8830. And it is a shirt dress. It's a bit light on that. It is beautiful. So that's another one. And this is 8702 and it's a tracksuit. I got this one more to do as separates, not as a full tracksuit. But um, still want to see how that turns out. Looking at this one, it's not going to be one that I'm just going to be jumping straight into for it's... When I was sort of saying to the girls yesterday at the meetup, I was like, you get your patterns and they're easy, intermediate, confident, beginner, that sort of thing. I'm not one that goes by that. If I like the pattern, I buy it. Um, and then whenever I do get it, I study it quite hard. <laughs> I'll read every bit of it. Um, if there's bits that I'm unsure of, I'll... Uh, if there's maybe stitches I don't know or terminology I don't know, I'll Google that. Um, with Mimi G, she usually does a stitch along. I think each one of these has a stitch along on her YouTube channel. So they'll be in use. Um, even if some of the pattern designers don't have stitch alongs, if you go onto YouTube and put in like um, I done the Claudia Tank. If you put that maybe onto YouTube, it'll probably bring up somebody that has done it somewhere. Um, there's there's always help out there. So I sort of, I don't stick by the beginner intermediate that if I like the pattern, I just buy it and try my best. Only with really starting out, the one thing I do find hard is finding the right fabric. So I do go off the what it says on the back of the patterns. Yours is up here. Oh no, sorry, that's upside down. There. Um, but I think that just comes with learning. So I have bought fabric for this one. I bought Actually, I thought I bought a chambray, but I actually have bought um, a poplin. I think it's just a navy poplin. I bought to try these ones out in. And this one, I have bought a lovely um, wine coloured linen. So, hopefully, and I got them from Minerva. So, hopefully, they'll be here at the start of this, well, start middle of this week. I'm hoping anyway. Um, and that will give me something to work on. Not that I don't have anything else. As I say, I have the uh, Friday Pattern Company, the um, Wilder gown. It's all sitting to my left here. Cut out. It's actually, I've started to clamp it together and stuff. Um, it was because I hadn't got the right thread, but it come this week. Um, so I have no excuse. And I would love to, I actually would love to get this. I just need to sell myself and get it stitched together. Um, change that needle on my machine and I'll be away. Uh, there wouldn't be much else to do. So, but that, that is everything I have. Um, I will, as I say, working away on the four cross stitch that I have and hopefully if this fabric comes, I'll start to get this cut out. I'll get the wider gown, hopefully, sewn together. Um, for the next video, I'm hoping. Um, but other than that, that is everything I have. If you have made it this far, congratulations. <laughs> but also, if you wouldn't mind, if you have, you know, liked what you've seen, thumbs up, please. And if you would consider subscribing, it would be brilliant as well. Um, I hope you're all keeping well. And I hope you all keep well for the next couple of weeks to come. 
and I hope you're all stitching. And if not, it'll always be there when you come back to it. <laughs> but uh, no, have a brilliant couple of weeks ahead of you and I'll see you next time. Bye.